Okay. I will give you a secret, but I need to trust you before. Please promise me promise. not to tell my parents <laughs> what I'm going to tell you in the next few minutes. I need to see your hands. Please promise me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I don't know. <laughs> it was three years ago. My girlfriend and I decided to go to skiing to Uludağ. Actually, she asked me to teach her skiing and I opened my eyes in Uludağ. But I don't remember what happened between. <laughs> we rented equipment for her and moved forward to chairlift. I will give you additional information. In skiing, uh, slopes are categorized from easy one to difficult one with colors. Blue one and red one, uh, blue and green one are easy ones. Uh, green, uh, which one? Red one is difficult and black one is no fun zone for beginners. We started our lecture, how to teach your girlfriend skiing, skiing lecture 101 and used same lift couple of times. After that, I decided to check the other lifts, if it is easy or not. I saw a couple of people over there. And uh, told my girlfriend, wait me in the lifts uh, that we used to go up. And I went to check other lifts. That was the game changer decision of that trip. From now on, I will tell you the story of how I rescued myself. <laughs> the first thing I remember was there was a fog. It came suddenly and I was in between trees in a valley. I was still skiing and uh, okay, nothing wrong. After some time I saw a warning sign C9 and it says please call this number if you think you have lost like a tape machine. Okay, I can easily see the city lights. I know where the poles of the lifts are. I'm not lost. I continue skiing. <laughs> After a while, I saw a warning sign C8 with the same warning on it. And still, I am believing that I have that sophisticated navigation skill. <laughs> <laughs> Until I passed C7. And after 700 meters, approximately, I couldn't ski anymore because of the melted snow. <laughs> I put my board off, sat on it. The first thing I did was texting my girlfriend. I'm okay, I'll be a little bit late, don't worry about me. And then I decided to call the military police, which I literally <laughs> have to do three signs before. Another additional info. I was equipped with a bag, includes biscuits, water, whiskey, <laughs> which is the most important thing you will see. Uh, I had proper clothes and I had a whistle that I bought in case of getting lost in Alps, not in Uda. <laughs> okay, I called military police, but while I was calling, my battery died. Luckily, I had my power bank, I used it, I called them and I told them I was 700 meters down the C7 and could you describe the way out or you will come and get me. <laughs> and they told me to please stay still, we will be there within an hour and don't worry about wild animals. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> said, okay, wild animals. Bears, wolves, and I remembered a couple of guys have died at the same place where I was. But I was still calm, interestingly. And then I take out my whistle and started whistling. Another additional info, three blasts is an international distress code, which is, I don't want to disturb you, I continuously repeated that. After a while, I saw the red clothes of search and rescue team. They came nearby me. After asking standard procedures like health, name, etc., 
a ranger asked me, am I an engineer? <laughs> okay, that was not the question I was expecting. I said, yes, but how could you know that? Is, is it and he spilled out. He told me, we call this region engineer spit. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the majority of the people we rescued from are engineers. <laughs> you remember my sophisticated navigation skills, right? <laughs> that was the reason. <laughs> I called them at 11 o'clock. They reached me at 11.45. Uh, we walked back the whole slope I skied till 4 o'clock. Wow. But I was still calm, believe me. <laughs> the day after, I was on local news and radio. <laughs> <laughs> I was famous, but local ones. That's why I asked your promise. <laughs> and... Uh, Hmm, they say, snowboard named O.I., who is an engineer, <laughs> rescued, becoming lost in heavy, heavy fog in Bursa Uda. Luckily, it was O.I. again. Briefly, if you are going to teach someone skiing, you need to have power bank, <laughs> whiskey. whiskey and whistle, <laughs> both of them. And the guy on your right shoulder, Maybe we'll who is whispering, pay attention to warning signs <laughs> instead of your gut. <laughs> <laughs>